Hey, what's up boys and girls? Hopefully everyone's doing well. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do custom themes on your PlayStation Portable. Um, it's fairly simple um, to install. So just follow along. Um, you're more than welcome to read this text um, so you can understand what's going on. Um, this is very important. Uh, the first line is for me for 1000, 2000, 3000 street. And internal memory PSP Go is for is this line right here. I have no idea how much internal memory the PSP Go has, but it is not I will tell you having the PS Vita 2K the slim with internal memory great. Because um the memory cards for the PlayStation uh, Vita Fat they're quite expensive, especially like OEM like original Sony ones. But what you want to do here is you want to download this file it's small so you want to extract this you want to extract just the CXMB the source that's the whole source code for uh, said file you don't need that this is the readme file it's the same thing as um, I just showed you on the uh, on the computer on the website but, but Right from here, we're going to copy and paste this because we're going to be needing this later. So let's close out of that. I am going to boot up my PlayStation Portable right now. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, instead of taking out the SD card and inserting it into the um, micro SD adapter, um, the nice thing is... You, Plug in the cord to the top of the PSP, then plug the USB portion into the computer. And if you set up the um, the setting where it says, um, let's see, USB device, you could pick UMD disk or memory stick. If you pick the memory stick, you could uh, actually look through, um, look into the memory sticks um, folders through the PSP while not actually taking out the um, the SD card. So let's connect this bad boy. I don't know if you heard that. Oh, there we go. USB drive, D, connected. Let's open file manager, go to the D. Now this is where you need to put the CXMB folder. You can open up C plugins, SE plugins. This drag and drop. Or you're more than welcome to right click and then copy and then paste um, the folder right into the the uh, C plugins folder. Next, you actually want to actually let's stay in the C plugins. My bad. Uh, next, you want to open up let's say Notepad or whatever device you use to write. Now you want to add this line of code which we just did, which we just copied. So we paste the line of code in. You want to go File. Save as. You want to save it as VHS. I always want to say VSH because I was born in 83 and I, I grew up with VHS or VSHs. Or, it is VSH. I keep getting this confused. It's VSH. Save that as VSH, not VHS. Like I said. Um, all the themes are going to go in the PSP slash theme folder, so please keep that in mind. And you got to add your line to your VSH text. It's lowercase here, but from what I was reading, um, capital works fine. So let's drag and drop. As you can see in the preview on the right hand side, the MS0 memory stick. There we go. All right. Let's go to the PSP. Let's go to theme. All right. I'm going to leave these two websites up. This GitHub is all PlayStation Portable themes you could download. It would be rad if they showed, like, um, images or something, like a preview, I should say, but they don't. So you're going to have to download all of them or take your chances and see how rad they are. You know? Or maybe just copy and paste like allure v2.ctf highlight and copy that name and and throw into google and see if images pops up just type in psp comma paste in allure v2 see what happens 
But um, I'm a JDM fanboy. I'll admit, I like my Evo. So we're going to download the Skyline. Let's open this bad boy up. We're going to drag and... Oop. We're going to drag and drop this PTF file. Now, there's a difference between PTF and CTF. And I'll get this right here. PTF is an official theme. will only change your icon and wallpaper. And it does not need custom firmware. CTF is a very interactive theme because it changes the whole layout of the PSP, including the PSP startup. So, there you go. All right. Let's download another file here just to show let's download this neon PSP neon that looks kind of cool all right that's downloaded let's drag this over to the desktop all right we're in our PSP theme folder let's highlight now you could always right click and copy or right click and drag both files at once what I'm doing right just do what I'm doing right now and I'm going to show, and I'm going to add a, a special file that I think everybody might enjoy. Um, I'll give you, excuse me, I'll give you a hint. It's something that everybody wants, but you can't get it. Just, it's been, it's been very hard to get, let's just say. All right, so we got our themes installed. Now I'm gonna back out of the. Uh, I'm gonna f uh, not format, but I'm gonna um, eject the 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 USB from the PSP, and I'm gonna go over to the PSP side of things and show you how to load up everything. So stay tuned. All right, we're at the PSP side of things. We're at themes right now. Hopefully you can see it. Hopefully it's not too... Yeah, I think... Hopefully you guys can see it. Now, these are the themes that I installed. The JDM, because I'm a JDM fanboy. Now, let's apply this. I feel Paul Walker's spirit running through me right now. Hopefully he'll be excited that I drive a Evo. Not the, not the Evo 7 from the... Too Fast, Too Furious movie, but an Evil 10. And you won't see the CXMB um, in the memory stick. Nice icons. Background looks rad. All right, let's change this to this one. Oh, the neon's not actually. I like the neon too. Neon looks nice. I like simplistic um, themes, even with the PS Vita that I had. There's some themes that um, I did a video on that some of them were just too damn loud, meaning like it's too much going on. It's too. It's it's like a hot mess. Like I think I re if I remember correctly, I reviewed. And I I didn't review, but I showed um, a Legend of Zelda theme for the P PlayStation Vita, and it was just too out there it was too loud too too messy you know these two themes i just showed the perfect they're absolutely perfect because they're not too loud they're nice and neat it's just the way i like them so those are the ptf files now i dragged and dropped a ctf one and i'll show you how to do it um if you want to just do ctf files you can um unfortunately you can't do you have to do one or the other. You just can't do all of them, unfortunately. So let's say you install this plugin and you had a list of files to be dragged and dropped over, which are .ctf, custom ones. What you want to do, you want to go to, hit the select button. You want to go to recovery menu. Go down to plugins. CXMB.PRX. It's disabled. Enable it. Go back. Now you want to reset. And once reset, you should be at the themes menu part. If not, we'll scroll over and I'll show you the uh, 
the theme that I put on there. I don't know if you guys remember that hint. All right, let's scroll over, go to themes, go down to custom. It's gonna reboot. Don't worry, it's gonna work. Now, if anybody has a PlayStation 5, you'll know that, oh, this background looks like a PlayStation 5 system, or the where you recognize the background or whatever, because it is. It's a PlayStation 5 background. For all those who have yet to get the console, like, I kind of still want the PlayStation console, even though I'm a PC gamer now. Um, like, there's certain games that come to the console that PC doesn't, that can't, that PC gamers won't get, but it seems like Sony is kind of giving out their like games to the PC world which is great like God of War and and that uh Toshima yeah Toshima game there which I bought and beat along with God of War so unfortunately when you enable the plugin you won't be able to use the actual other two themes that I showed you and like three minutes ago so it's either one or the other either you ain't enable it or you just run with ptf files throughout your whole life you just can't have um both of them unfortunately i was really hoping you could use both you know just enable the plugin and it'll show you the custom themes along with the other themes that i downloaded but it is what it is I don't think uh, anybody's programming anything for the PSP anymore. Um, it's mostly like PS Vita now. So this is the custom themes. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Like if you like, dislike if you dislike, and I'll catch you guys later.